Greetings wonderful audience Amarjit here from Amar PTE classes I hope you all are doing fantastic do subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and share these videos with your friends and if you need any kind of help like online and offline classes for a particular section of PTE then you can contact me my number is given in the description box and you can also mail me Amar PTE classes at the rate gmail dot com and if you want to make a video on a particular topic of PTE then you can also write in the comment box. Now let's start listening filling the blanks. If you are planning your exam in August 2024 then goes through listening filling the blanks because this is the most important task of listening and the writing section so i made a video on most repeated listening filling the blanks and i will discuss the strategies and tips means how you can check ki aapne grammar rules kaise follow karne hai and aapne plural kahan pe use karna hai so let's start keep your pen and paper ready along with this video you can note your answers i will also note the answer then we will do it so let's start so you will get two to three questions of listening filling the blanks in the final exam most of our serious illnesses and deaths in the u.s now come from preventable diseases such as heart disease but we know what works to improve health. A new report recommends 43 changes that can make big improvements. To arrive at their recommendations, researchers reviewed more than a thousand studies of public health. Their findings are in the American Heart Association journal, Circulation. Some of the suggestions, such as tightening restrictions on smoking, are already paying off in many areas. Others, such as increasing taxes for unhealthful foods, might face stiff opposition, but could pay off large dividends and health savings later. But some surprisingly simple suggestions could be easiest to institute. Try extending the hours for public parks and schools' recreation facilities, or improving sidewalks and visual appeal of neighborhoods to make people want to walk, bike, or run there more often. The authors of the paper argue that the next step is just for policymakers to put these changes into action. So first one is the prevent table. So first you have to write prevent. First write the spellings of the prevent P R E V E N T then write able prevent table. Next is that can make big improvements so here it is plural that can make big improvements because here he has mentioned 43 changes so that can make big improvements so next one is association so here American with capital A heart with capital H and here it is association with capital A so remember this during listening filling the blanks association next is such as tightening restrictions so first ris then trick then shuns restrictions then opposition check your spellings of opposition next one easiest to institute So next one is facilities, recreation facilities and next one is changes into action. So proofreading is very important in listening filling the blanks. So let's check the answers. Preventable improvements association with capital A restrictions with plural form opposition institute facilities and here it is changes so this is the next one keep your cursor here so you can save your time telling people to change unhealthy behaviors doesn't work otherwise we would all already be slim fit non-smokers 
Whether it's habit, the temptation of an ad, or just the easiest option, we often rely on automatic behaviors to get us through the day. And even though we know taking the elevator, grabbing a beer, or drowning a salad in ranch dressing are not the healthiest choices, we keep making them, unless those bad choices become too inconvenient. Making bad choices harder is actually the best way to help people get healthier, argues a new essay in the journal Science. Simply programming elevator doors to close really slowly actually motivates more people to climb stairs. Limiting the places that sell tobacco cuts overall consumption. And then there's the trusty old salad bar trick. Put healthier options closer than other choices and more people pick them. Little changes like these reach everyone, not just the people targeted with a health message. And they get us healthier just by letting us stay on autopilot. So first one is the behaviors. So if you have confusing, if you have a confusion in the spellings of behaviors, then you can check from here also. So here it is unhealthy behaviors. So next one is temptation. So here it is temp, T-E-M-P-T-A-T-I-O-N, temptation. Next is rely on automatic automatic behaviors next is choices become too inconvenient so first write in then con c o n then venient v e n i e n t inconvenient so check your spelling of inconvenient so next is simply programming simply programming with double m then actually motivates more people to climb stairs then healthier options because it's talking about healthier closer than other choices so yahan pe plural hai then you can decide ki yahan pe bhi kya aega plural aega options next is targeted so let's check these spellings you can check your own behaviors temptation automatic inconvenient write the spellings of inconvenient programming motivates options targeted so click on the next button Keep your eyes on the screen and your hand on the paper. In lab tests, music and lighting can affect how much people eat. Now a study has found that changing the ambiance of a fast food restaurant to more of a fine dining atmosphere lessen the amount of food people crammed into their pie holes. To quote the paper, softening the lighting and music led people to eat less, to rate the food as more enjoyable, and to spend just as much. That last finding means that fast food joints, which are accused of contributing to the obesity epidemic, might actually try it. The study was led by well-known eating behaviorist Brian Wansing from Cornell University and appears in the journal Psychological Reports. The researchers converted part of a Hardee's so that it had soft lighting and slow jazz instrumentals. The patrons were expected to possibly eat more in the relaxed section because they'd linger and maybe get dessert, but they actually averaged 18% fewer calories per meal than the folks in the rowdy section, down from an average of 949 calories to 775. The overall experience appears to have been a more satisfying meal, even if there was less of it. So first one is the changing Next is the atmosphere at moss fair which are accused of contributing Third one is contributing and appears here it is word appears in the journal because here we are talking about the third person next is expected then experience so let's check it changing 
atmosphere contributing appears expected and experience so here we have five blanks doctors know a lot about prescribing medications take two brisk walks and call me in the morning but for many patients a light get moving plan might be just what the doctor should have ordered Many of us aren't exactly in peak physical condition, but a large number of people are actually deconditioned. So says the Mayo Clinic's Michael Joyner in an essay in the Journal of Physiology. After surgery, illness, pregnancy, or extended inactivity for any reason, people might feel faint or fatigued when they try even mild exercise. These signs, Joyner argues, should be recognized by doctors not as symptoms that should be treated with drugs, but rather as a medical state of deconditioning that might be better helped with a gentle guided exercise program. It might sound counterintuitive that fatigue can be beat back with exercise, but remember Newton, Isaac, not Fig. A body at rest stays at rest, and a body in motion needs to resist external forces acting upon it that might slow it down. So for in the first blank we have should have. So with should have we use third form of verb. So here it is ordered. So you need to check before the blank. Means यहाँ पे आपके पास कौन सा sentence given है. So here it is ordered. Now next is faint or fatigued. नाउ शुड बी विद शुड बी मीन्स अगर आपके पास बी होता है तो उसके साथ भी हम ई डी फॉर्म यूज करते हैं सो हेयर इट इज रेकोगनाइज एक्सरसाइज इफ यू हैव कन्फ्यूजन इन दिस स्पेलिंग्स देन यू कैन चेक फ्रॉम हेयर ऑल्सो सो इट इज एक्सरसाइज एक्सटर्नल सो लेट्स चेक इट do proof reading check your spellings ordered fatigued recognized exercise you can check spellings of exercise from here and external forces malaria is a tropical disease right actually malaria parasites can be found as far north as alaska at least in birds and a warming climate may push avian malaria even farther north by the end of the century according to a study in the journal plus 1 researchers took blood from nearly 700 birds around anchorage fairbanks and a truck stop called coldfoot alaska above the arctic circle at 67 degrees north latitude and they found the parasite in 7% of the birds at the two southerly sites some were migrants and may have picked up the disease down south but others were hatchlings and resident birds indicating the parasite can complete its full life cycle in the great white north. The parasite doesn't seem to have hopped north of Fairbanks yet, but temperatures in the arctic are rising at twice the global average, and researchers say malaria could cross into the arctic circle by 2080. Once it gets there, it could attack species like snowy owls, which have never been exposed to malaria and may not have resistance to the disease. Talk about a buzzkill. So first one is tropical Next one is end of the century. Next one is north latitude. First write lati then tude latitude. Now here it is where. So where is the plural form? Means हम where वहाँ पे use करते हैं अगर हम plural की बात करते हैं तो यहाँ पे क्या था हमारे पास migrants. Next is the parasite. हैव बीन है तो हम ई डी फॉर्म यूज करेंगे एक्सपोज देन रेजिस्टेंस टू दी डेसीज एंड हेयर इज द स्पेलिंग ऑफ डेसीज डी आई एस ई ए एस ई सो चेक यू स्पेलिंग्स तो बच्चों को यहाँ पे कंफ्यूजन होती है कि द पैरासाइट्स आएगा बट यहाँ पे हमारे पास डज नॉट है तो हम यहाँ पे यूज करेंगे पैरासाइट नेक्स्ट oh. 
Macular degeneration causes visual distortion and even complete loss of sight. When the wife of chemistry Nobel laureate Walter Cohn was diagnosed with macular degeneration, he wanted to do something. I spoke with him at the recent Lindau Nobel laureate meeting in Germany. We are developing a corrective device, including interaction with the patient who is following a certain routine and who tells us his perceptions that arise. A macular degeneration patient looks at a completely regular grid on a computer screen. But because of the condition, the grid will appear distorted. The patient uses a mouse to adjust the grid to appear normal. We receive from the patient an edited piece of graph paper. And from the way the patient edits it, we can tell what the distortions are that he perceives. And from this, we can then develop devices that correct these distortions. So first one is chemistry. So I am writing here C capital because यहाँ पे हमारे पास noble है तो मैं chemistry का C capital लिख रही हूँ let's check it chemistry check your spellings of chemistry was है तो ed form use होगी diagnosed including interaction with patients tell us his perceptions per sap shuns perceptions develop devices so let's check it so chemistry with c small diagnosed interaction perceptions and devices kyunki ek device nahi hoga मल्टीपल डिवाइसेज होगा वी कैन देन डेवलप डिवाइस दैट करेक्ट डिस्टॉशन यहाँ पे प्लूरल है परसेप्शन हैं क्योंकि परसेप्शन एक नहीं होगा मल्टीपल होती हैं तो परसेप्शन वॉज है देन ई डी फॉर्म यूज होगा तो देन डायग्नोज ब्लैक होल्स आर कॉमन बट एक्चुअली काउंटिंग दम इज नो इजी टास्क Even the brightest can be hard to see. Of course, bright black holes is a bit of an oxymoron. But when supermassive black holes at the center of a galaxy feed, the material falling into them heats up, giving off a bright glow across the electromagnetic spectrum. Infrared light, in particular, is good to look for when black hole hunting. Some feasting black holes are obscured by gas and dust, which absorbs much of their glow, but they still shine in the infrared. It's no surprise then that NASA's infrared Wise spacecraft found a bunch. Wise launched in 2009 to survey the entire sky in the infrared. Now researchers have used Wise data to count the luminous black holes in a well-known corner of the sky called the Cosmos Field. In just that tiny region, Wise found about 130 glowing black holes or active galactic nuclei. The study will appear in the Astrophysical Journal. Extrapolating from this small area, at least 2 million active black holes dot the sky, confirming that these extreme astrophysical objects are common indeed. So first one is electromagnetic spectrum light in particular is good obscured by gas and dust journal बिकॉज यहाँ पे एस्ट्रोफिजिकल की बात हो रही है ब्लैक होल्स की बात हो रही है तो जर्नल के जो स्पेलिंग्स होंगे जे ओ यू आर एन एन ए एल जर्नल नेक्स्ट कन्फर्मिंग सो लेट्स चेक इट स्पेक्ट्रम पर्टिकुलर डस्ट जर्नल एंड इट्स कन्फर्मिंग Presidential hopeful Mitt Romney pledged to achieve North American energy independence by 2020 this week. That's a presidential move because every president since Richard Nixon has pledged some version of the same thing, including Romney's opponent, President Barack Obama. 
Obama's version is called the All of the Above strategy. More domestic oil production to reduce imports. More electricity derived from wind, sunshine, and natural gas added to the U.S. grid. Even more coal, as long as it has CO2 capture and storage attached. Romney's plan differs only in the details. That increased domestic oil production should come from drilling in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge and other public lands, for example, as well as off the eastern seaboard. Both candidates love biofuels, even ethanol from corn. The candidates share another similarity as well, an inability to discuss climate change on the campaign trail. And global warming is one of the largest environmental results of U.S. energy policy, or for the past half century, the lack of a coherent one. Until issues like climate change are included in the discussion, any energy plan is just a lot of hot air. So first one is North American energy independence. Next is has. With has, we use third form of verb. So here it is pledged, P-L-E-D-G-E-D, strategy. All of the above strategy, जो सबसे ऊपर strategy है, plan differs. Next is candidates. environmental results so let's check it independence pledged strategy candidates both candidates hai to yahan pe plural aayega results hai environmental ki baat ho rahi hai to yahan pe bhi results aayega has hai to hum third form of verb use karenge ab usne bola all of the above jo sabse upar hai to isliye yahan pe hamare paas kya aaya hai strategy keep your eyes on the screen and your pen on the notepad Beijing often suffers choking air but there's now one more thing proven to dissipate it an olympics The 2008 Summer Games impelled those in charge of the Chinese capital to clear the air. Not only did they banish smog and smoke, they also inadvertently cut greenhouse gas emissions by as much as 96,000 metric tons during the games. That's according to a new analysis published in Geophysical Research Letters on July 20th. The key was banning half of all the private cars in the city from driving on any particular day during the event. The findings suggest that individual choices like whether to drive or take public transit to work have major cumulative effects. London's so-called congestion charge for driving in town likewise cuts traffic and pollution. This year London is bidding to have the most environmentally friendly Olympics ever. That includes building new stadiums atop former industrial sites and urging fans to choose public transit, walking or cycling. But the British may not match the Chinese achievement or even attempt to make the London Games carbon neutral. The Olympics that finally achieve zero carbon would really merit a gold for green. So first one is one more thing proven. Next one is Chinese capital published. So we are using ED form because यहाँ पे जो बात हो रही है that is research letters on July twentieth. So already हो चुके हैं. That's why I am taking here published. Next is half major cumulative. Congestion. next is environmentally so first write the environment e n v i r o n m e n t environment but aapne kya likhna hai environmentally so i am writing here double l y environmentally and last one is achievement a c h i e v e m e nt achievement so proven capital published cumulative congestion environmentally and here it is achievement How many rolls, cookies, or baby carrots would you have to eat to feel full? 
It's probably more than you'd want to admit. It may not even be possible with carrots. But what if you ate that volume of filet mignon? Hunger and fullness are controlled by hormones that send messages between your gut and your head. And different foods send different messages. Some say, eat more, and others warn you to slow down. Now, a study finds that protein is, indeed, key in generating signals of fullness. The work is in the journal Cell. Mice that lack receptors to sense that they were eating protein kept chowing down without appearing to feel full, whereas normal mice would stop eating much sooner while eating a high-protein meal. The results of the study make it extra impressive that Joey Chestnut wolfed down 68 hot dogs at the Nathan's July 4th hot dog eating contest. With more time, he likely would have felt full after a few. But for people eating sensibly, grilled chicken or fish supply satiating protein too. So first one is want to. So here we have to. So with to we use first form of verb. So here it is admit. Want to admit. Next one is send messages. So you can check the spellings of messages from here also messages lack receptors receptors without appearing next one is impressive and grilled chicken so let's check it admit with to we always use first form of verb messages you can check spellings from here might that lack receptors to sense then appearing impressive and grilled Olympic athletes submit their bodies to grueling training and then they soar around the world to meet the competition American East Coast athletes traveled five time zones to get to London. West Coast athletes leapt over eight and increased the odds that they'll get a cold, if not the gold. So says a study in the British Journal of Sports Medicine. Researchers tracked 259 elite rugby players in the 2010 Super 14 Rugby Tournament. The 16 weeks of games took place in Australia, South Africa, and New Zealand. On average, there were 21 illnesses per thousand player days, but players in their home countries endured only 15 illnesses per thousand days. And when a team traveled more than five time zones in either direction, illness rates more than doubled. The number dropped back to 10 after they flew back home. The illnesses were primarily infections, such as respiratory or intestinal illnesses. A weakened immune system does not appear to be a factor. The researchers suggest that differences in temperature, pollution, allergens, and different foods and local microbes are the likeliest culprits. One more element that might give European Olympians a home field advantage. So first one is athletes. So you can check the spellings of athletes from here. Athletes. A-T-H-L-E-T-E-S. Athletes. Next one is 21 illnesses so you can check the spellings of illnesses from here also agar aap dhyan se sun rahe ho to aapke paas already blank mein hi options given hai answers given hai so yahan pe aapke paas spellings padhe hain illnesses ke i double l n e double s e s next one is infections kyunki word use ho raha hai starting mein to yahan pe infections aayega नेक्स्ट है डिफरेंसेस क्योंकि टेम्परेचर की बात कर रहे हैं तो यहाँ पे हम डिफरेंसेस ले रहे हैं और नेक्स्ट है हमारे पास एलिमेंट सो डिफरेंसेस के स्पेलिंग सो लेट्स चेक इट एथलीट्स illnesses infections differences and here it is element one more element hai to one hai hamare paas isliye hum yahan pe element use karenge agar more hai to aapne elements nahi lagana kyunki aage one likha hua hai so take care of this thing also so this is next one we will do 20 oh. emmanuel kant spoke often about the sublime and specifically how art becomes more sublime when beauty mixes with terror. Now research provides some support for this philosophical viewpoint. 
Scientists had 85 subjects experience one of five different things. One group watched a brief, scary movie. Another group watched a happy movie. And two other groups performed either 30 or 15 jumping jacks. The control group did nothing. Then all the subjects looked at four abstract paintings for 30 seconds each by the Russian artist L. Lisitsky. And they rated the art based on qualities of how inspiring, stimulating, rousing, boring, forgetful, or uninteresting the piece was for them. The group that had watched the scary movie rated the art as more sublime and positive than any of the other groups. In fact, the other four groups did not significantly differ in their ratings. We might not think about describing art as frightening. The researchers note, however, that art can be surprising, elicit goosebumps, and inspire awe. Who knew that pairing The Walking Dead with a trip to the Museum of Modern Art would make the entire experience more sublime? So first one is viewpoint. So viewpoint aapne ikatha hi likhna. Viewpoint aapne koi gap ni dena. Performed. Next hai paintings. inspiring how inspiring next is positive significantly differ next is experience so let's check व्यू पॉइंट इकट्ठा लिखोगे टू अदर ग्रुप्स परफॉर्म आइदर थर्टी और फिफ्टीन जम्पिंग जैक्स जो परफॉर्म कर चुके हैं तो परफॉर्म्ड आ गया पेंटिंग्स इंस्पायरिंग है क्योंकि आगे सारे आई में हैं तो यहाँ पे आई फॉर्म यूज कर रहे हैं पॉजिटिव डिफर एक्सपीरियंस Focus on your spellings and do proofreading. If you're thinking about upgrading to Apple's new iPhone 5 when it debuts in a few weeks, you're going to have to figure out what to do with your current device. Given how much we've come to rely on these gadgets for storing pictures, contacts, and personal information, some serious privacy issues should be considered before selling, recycling, or trading in your old phone. Typically, you restore factory settings on your smartphone before parting ways. But a couple of recent articles on NBCNews.com and Yahoo.com find that factory resets are inconsistent, depending on the phone. BlackBerry and Apple resets appear to delete and scrub personal data the best, according to data retrieval experiments described in the articles. But Android and Microsoft smartphones weren't as good at wiping important information. In the Yahoo article, computer analyst Steve Burgess recommends that, in addition to the factory reset, you should remove a phone's memory and SIM cards before turning it in. Robert Siciliano's advice in the NBCNews.com story was a bit more severe. He recommends a drill, a sledgehammer, and a bucket of salt water. So first one is upgrading. Next is current. Third one is privacy. Privacy issues. Next is typically. So we will start typically with capital T, C A double L Y. Typically. Next is inconsistent. First write in, then consistent. Inconsistent. Retrieval experiments. Experiments. Memory. Upgrading, current, privacy, typically, inconsistent, experiments, memory. Having a kid changes everything, from your sleep schedule to the status of that formerly spare room. The stable of bacteria that live in a woman's gut is also transformed when their host becomes pregnant. So finds research in the journal Cell. The study looked at women in Finland. The women's microbial makeup changed dramatically between the first and third trimesters. The array of microbes in the gut went from looking normal in the first three months of a pregnancy 
to resembling what's found in patients suffering from metabolic disease in the last three. But some symptoms of that condition, like weight gain and slower sugar metabolism, can be beneficial to pregnant women, supporting energy storage that helps the fetus develop. Other symptoms, like inflammation, demonstrate that the immune system is functioning properly as a pregnancy comes to term. Scientists don't yet fully understand what brings about the changes in gut bacteria, immune function is a suspect, but factors like hormonal signals aren't ruled out. The research suggests that other changes to the body, like puberty or old age, could also bring about microbial makeovers. So first one is pregnant. You can check the spellings. Spellings are given within the paragraph. Next one is dramatically. D-R-A-M-A-T-I-C-A -A -A with double L-Y. Dramatically. Next is suffering. Next is can be beneficial. So you can check the spellings from here also. Next is demonstrate. Next is functioning. Functioning properly. Next is signals. Pregnant, dramatically with double L-Y, suffering, beneficial, demonstrate, functioning. Then next is signals. So check your spellings if you have confusion in any one. Keep your cursor here. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on live. The control room at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, late in the evening of August 5th Pacific Time, when word arrived that the Curiosity rover had landed safely on Mars. The one-ton rover, which dwarfs all Mars landers that came before it, will now spend a planned two years exploring the Martian surface. The mission is expected to cost $2.5 billion. Curiosity's task is to investigate the inside of Gale Crater, where a giant mound of sedimentary deposits may provide evidence of a wetter, possibly habitable Mars billions of years ago. But first it had to survive an elaborate landing sequence, which appears to have gone smoothly. Curiosity landed on time and on target, and soon beamed back grainy photos of its wheels and its shadow. Given the car-like size of the rover and the challenges of landing on Mars, Curiosity's landing goes down as one of the greatest parking jobs in history. So first one is laboratory. Exploring. Deposits. Deposits. So first write the spellings of deposit then S. So deposits. Next is sequence. And next last one is landing. Laboratory exploring deposits sequence landing. With more and more car accidents attributed to distracted driving, it's become clear just how dangerous it can be to fiddle with your cell phone while behind the wheel. Now it seems more and more people are failing to safely use their mobile gadgets while walking. The number of distracted walkers injured seriously enough to be treated at hospital emergency rooms have more than quadrupled in the past seven years, according to the Associated Press. That's not even counting the untold incidents of stubbing your toe or doing that little trip-run move across the sidewalk. These hospital cases are people who get hit by cars, fall off curbs, or even onto train tracks because they're too busy texting, surfing the web, or in some other way too distracted to watch where they're going. There were about 1,150 such incidents last year. There isn't any hard evidence yet that proves pedestrian gadget distraction increases the chances of pedestrian mishaps. Still, it's hard to argue with the anecdotal evidence available at the nearest street corner. 
Perhaps you've seen the video of the walker in California who's concentrating so hard on his mobile device that he almost bumps into a bear. Ah! Don't be that guy. Attributed to distracted. Are failing. Hospital emergency rooms. Untold incidents. You can check spellings of inter incidents given in the paragraph also. Too busy texting. Because ing is, so here also ing will be used. Evidence. Concentrating. Concent. Treating. Distracted, failing, emergency, incidents, texting, evidence, and concentrating. As a kindergarten teacher might say, sharing is caring. She might not mention that cooperation is also a great way to form a community and thus improve everyone's chances of survival. Humans aren't the only ones to apply this strategy. Marine bacteria also form cooperative populations, according to a study in the journal Science. Researchers examined the genomes of bacteria belonging to the Vibrionaceae family. In the lab, they grouped together bacteria with similar genetics that coexist in the same microhabitat. The scientists expected that within any given population, individuals capable of producing antibiotics would use these chemical weapons against others. But when they looked at interactions between different strains of Vibrionaceae, they found that only a few members of any given population could produce the bacteria-killing substances, and the rest of that community was resistant to those particular compounds. But the antibiotics could fight off foreign populations while leaving members of the home group unharmed. This arrangement implies a bacterial social structure, where individuals help the group as a whole. Cranhorning toddlers might want to take note. First one is she might not mention. Second is strategy. This is to singular hoga. This strategy. Marine bacteria. Researchers examined because already ho chuke in the past similar genetics antibiotics antibiotics some ikatha likhenge so don't give a space anti first right anti then biotics spellings yahan pe already given hai looked at interactions to those particular so next one is this arrangement so let's check these spellings mention strategy bacteria examined genetics antibiotics interactions particular and arrangement so here we have seven blanks so note down carefully japan's fukushima daiichi nuclear power plant suffered three meltdowns last year Paired with hydrogen explosions, these meltdowns allowed radioactive material to escape. So what's the effect been on the environment and human health? The first clues come from what's called the pale grass blue butterfly. This delicate insect's wings change color and pattern in response to environmental changes. The offspring of female butterflies caught in the Fukushima region six months after the meltdowns sported such color pattern changes as well as deformed legs, antenna, wings, and even eyes. The deformities persisted and got worse in the second generation of offspring as well. The same deformities were found in butterflies collected from the wild, and the researchers induced similar effects by exposing normal butterflies to radiation from cesium particles, like those that escaped Fukushima Daiichi. The research is in the journal Nature Scientific Reports. As for people, 
More than 3,000 individuals from a town 23 kilometers north of the stricken nuclear power plant also bore detectable levels of radioactive cesium in their bodies. Their total dose of less than one millisievert is considered safe, and no radiation sickness was observed. But, says a report in the Journal of the American Medical Association, the men, women, and children exposed need to be watched for the long-term effects of that radiation for the rest of their lives. So, first one is explosions, hydrogen explosions, blue butterfly, butterflies given hai aapke paas but aapne butterfly likhna hai because color mention hai particular blue butterfly next is deformed d then formed deformed next one is offspring next one is exposing effects by exposing Next is considered spelling is given. Next one is radiation. Spellings are also given in the paragraph. Is it to hum agar sentence passive me baat ho rahi hai, then we use ed form. So let's check the spellings. Explosions. Butterfly, deformed, offspring, exposing, considered, and radiation. Meetings, calls, kids, dogs, errands, exercise, and all those emails. Who doesn't feel starved for time these days? But a new study suggests that you can feel like you have more time. By donating some to others, the research is in the journal Psychological Science. There really are only 24 hours in a day, seven or eight of which are ideally spent sleeping. And a time commitment does take time. But researchers found that if people felt like they had done something for others, their perception was that they had gotten more done than the people who killed time, spent time on themselves, or got unexpected free time. And that made them feel like they had more time overall. You don't even have to spend your whole Sunday volunteering. The helping tasks in the study took only about five to fifteen minutes. They included things like editing a student's essay or writing a note to a sick child. Time donators also felt like they could do more with their time, making them even more willing to give time in the future. So first one is exercise. Second is by donating. Next is their perception. Unexpected. First write un, then expected. Volunteering. Included. Then essay. So let's check exercise, donating, perception, unexpected free time, volunteering, included, then essay for writing. Next one. Are we smarter than the dinosaurs? Specifically, are we clever enough to avoid their fate? If we don't want to be blown away by an asteroid, it would help to know what's out there. That's the idea behind the Sentinel mission. Sentinel is an infrared space telescope designed to spot near-Earth asteroids, but it won't be near Earth. It will launch in 2017 or 18 and adopt a Venus-like orbit around the Sun. From there, it will search space for any asteroids that might come dangerously close to Earth. It could double the known count of near-Earth asteroids in a matter of weeks, and with enough warning, we'd have a chance to deflect an inbound asteroid. Sentinel is the brainchild of the B612 Foundation. B612 was the asteroid home of literature's Little Prince. The group announced their plans for Sentinel on June 28th. But those plans depend on funding. The B612 Foundation is a nonprofit that aims to finance Sentinel through philanthropy. 
Former NASA astronaut Ed Liu heads the foundation. He says Sentinel needs a few hundred million dollars to get off the ground. That's a lot of cash, but the B612 Foundation might make it. After all, when it comes to fundraising, humans leave the dinosaurs in the dust. So first one is the dinosaurs and spellings are given here. S-A-U-R-S, dinosaurs. Next one is the mission. Next one is designed. Chance to deflect. The group announced. Foundation. Dinosaurs, mission, designed, deflect, announced and foundation. So this is the last one. Kids from the ages of 2 to 19 consume about 7 trillion calories in sugar-sweetened beverages per year, according to Steve Gortmacher of the Harvard School of Public Health. He spoke at the Obesity Society annual scientific meeting in San Antonio on September 23rd. Seven trillion is a lot of calories in sugar-sweetened beverages. At, for example, 50 cents per can, it's about $24 billion a year. All those dollars in sugary calories are stoking the childhood obesity epidemic. Currently in the U.S., about 17% of children and adolescents are obese. That's more than 12.5 million kids. And new research in the British Medical Journal suggests that obese children will have much higher risk factors for cardiovascular disease as adults. Even as kids, their hearts are changing shape to look like those of adults at risk for heart disease. But the good news is that simply cutting out about 64 calories a day from kids' diets could start to level out the steep rise in childhood obesity. That's equivalent to less than half a can of most non-diet sodas. So first one is consume. Second one is September. Calories. Obese. You can check the spellings of obese here. Shape. So next one is the dad's equivalent. So let's check it. Consume September is the name of the month. So we will start with the first capital letter. Calories, obese, you can check the spellings here. Shape, then equivalent. So this is all about for today. Because these predictions, these are the most repeated. And sometimes it happens that जो आपको ब्लैंक्स आती हैं वो इसी तरह से आती हैं कि जो स्पेस होता है बिटवीन टू ब्लैंक्स वो काफी कम होता है सो so, आपने जब भी ब्लैंक्स को करना है तो अपनी आईज स्क्रीन के ऊपर रखनी है बट आपने जो पेपर पे नोट करते जाना है एंड इफ यू आर मिसिंग एनी ब्लैंक तो वहां पे आप डैश लगा दो सो so दैट कि जब आप उसको फिल करो आपको कंफ्यूजन ना हो फॉर एग्जांपल यहां पे आपके पास जो ब्लैंक्स हैं वो 6 है तो कई बार क्या होता है कि थर्ड या फोर्थ मिस होगी तो उसको छोड़ दो क्योंकि अगर आप गलत फिल करोगे तो आपके जो मार्क्स हैं वो कटेंगे इसमें नेगेटिव मार्किंग नहीं है सो यू हैव टू फिल ऑल द ऑप्शंस अगर आपको कोई गेस्ट मारना है तो आप गेस्ट मार सकते हो क्योंकि कोई नेगेटिव मार्किंग नहीं है बट आपने इसको ध्यान रखना है क्योंकि जो ऑडियो फाइनल में आती है वो थोड़ा फास्ट होती है एज कंपेयर टू जो हम प्रैक्टिस करते हैं सो प्रूफ रीडिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अगर एक बार आपने स्पेलिंग्स फिल कर दिए तो एक बार उसको चेक कर दो क्योंकि हम काफी नर्वस होते हैं उस टाइम तो स्पेलिंग्स मिस्टेक हो सकते हैं सो डू प्रूफ रीडिंग इन राइटिंग लिसनिंग फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स बिकॉज इसके जो मार्क्स की कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन है इट इज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग सेवन इन लिसनिंग एंड सेवन इन राइटिंग so i hope you are liking my videos and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends and if you need any help then check in the description box and thank you so much for watching this video